Sunday the 23rd of June 2024. First reading. Reading from the book of Job. From the heart of the tempest the Lord gave Job his answer. He said, Who pent up the sea behind closed doors, when it leapt tumultuous out of the womb, when I wrapped it in a robe of mist, and made black clouds its swaddling bands, when I marked the bounds it was not to cross, and made it fast with a bolted gate. Come thus far, I said, and no farther. Here your proud waves shall break. Responsorial Psalm O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures for ever. Some sail to the sea in ships, to trade on the mighty waters. These men have seen the Lord's deeds, the wonders he does in the deep. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures for ever. For he spoke, he summoned the gale, tossing the waves of the sea, up to heaven and back into the deep. Their souls melted away in their distress. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures for ever. Then they cried to the Lord in their need, and he rescued them from their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper, all the waves of the sea were hushed. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures for ever. They rejoiced because of the calm, and he led them to the haven they desired. Let them thank the Lord for his love, for the wonders he does for men. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures for ever. Second reading. Reading from the second book of Corinthians. The love of Christ overwhelms us when we reflect that if one man has died for all, then all men should be dead. And the reason he died for all was so that living men should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died and was raised to life for them. From now onwards, therefore, we do not judge anyone by the standards of the flesh. Even if we did once know Christ in the flesh, that is not how we know him now. And for anyone who is in Christ, there is a new creation, the old creation has gone, and now the new one is here. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our mind, so that we can see what hope his call holds for us. Alleluia Gospel Reading from the book of Mark With the coming of evening, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross over to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him, just as he was, in the boat, and there were other boats with him. Then it began to blow a gale, and the waves were breaking into the boat so that it was almost swamped. But he was in the stern, his head on the cushion, asleep. They woke him and said to him, Master, do you not care? We are going down. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Quiet now, they come. And the wind dropped, and all was calm again. Then he said to them, Why are you so frightened? How is it that you have no faith? They were filled with awe and said to one another, Who can this be? Even the wind and the sea obey him. Gospel of the Lord.